Hello guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I am going to talk about the AI image generation. Basically how is it works, how the prompts has to be written, how we generate, uh, extend our prompts. And as you can see, uh, today I am going to use the Copilot. This is one of my favorite. As uh, you can see or you already know, the Copilot is a full-scale AI uh, software or tool, no, not only uh, good for image generation. So might be a software which is focusing on the image generation like uh, Midjourney or Leonardo AI or Dell E is more uh, accurate and can give you a better result. By the way, the Copilot is also using the engine of the DALI. So the pictures, what is generated, uh, basically it's uh, very good. But now, we are, before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep creating content for you? And thanks, and now let's get started. So this is the main page of the Copilot and here we can ask me anything so we can write our uh, prompt. I already created uh, three prompts, actually one really short one, create a picture of a castle next to a lake. I just copy pasting it, copy, paste and see the result. So now we're waiting until the co-pilot doing the job for us. Actually, as you can see here, powered by DAL E3. So actually the DAL E doing the job for us. And actually the co-pilot now is just a user interface. So if I open it, as you can see, this is also the Bing. So that if you, uh, if you heard about the Bing image generation, it's actually a same software, just that you are reach, uh, reach the UI from a different source. So you can see the pictures are not bad, but nothing fancy, I have to say this. So uh, if I extend the bit, so create a picture, a photorealistic picture with a castle next to a lake on a sunny day. So it's a bit more specific what I would like to see. And this is important. So you can, if you just add a generic uh, prompt, the result will be not that nice. Maybe it's a really, as you can see in these pictures before, not that, not that nice, not that uh, fantastic. At uh, this one, so th those four pictures are, as you can see, much, much better. And even I just extend it with a very short thing, like I just ask uh, with the photorealistic, photorealistic and added also this sunny day. And I extended this one, as you can see, create a picture, photorealistic picture, integrate details of a castle next to a lake on a sunny summer day, a small fog on the lakeside, light dancing across the space as does the Particles float on the air. A small town on the other side of the lake. Two girls riding a horse between the town and the castle. Professional photography, ultra HD, 64K hyperrealism. So I now I added more and more uh, details and also asking more and more from the software. And you will see the result will be more uh, realistic. If I use these uh, small uh, extensions like, uh, like this photorealistic or professional photography, ultra HD, also like the at these uh, small details like the the light dancing across the space as dust, so it's uh, more and more realistic parts. And actually, those picture is not that what I want. That's a bit. Interesting for me, this one was more realistic than this one. Time to time, the uh, the AI also not doing the best job. And actually, I cannot even see the, the girls are riding and there is a, no town around. And 
that's a bit strange. That's uh, time to time uh, this one is happening with uh, AI. So now I just coming here. I just uh, I just try to copy in what I want again. So these two girls is not doesn't have to be here and uh, it's also now I try to use my creativity and this one is professional photography that this one is also will be included. On the lake. Yeah, so this one is time to time. We have to play with it due to this is just an AI, and uh, this happened also uh, with me, as you can see. Also, when a system doesn't really understand what I want, then I have to sometimes we just have to remove a word or adding an additional word to make more specific what we want this is also nice but i don't know why the things is it uh, hyper realism or uh, so i just hyper realism i just uh, uh, ultra hd this one is just removing it so Photo reality picture, professional photography. This one also coming to here. As details of us uh, just uh, removing also this part. Yeah, I just changed something then uh, we we'll let to see the the results what what the system uh, create for us hope so it more closer what i would like to really to see that's a really nice really nice pictures but still not 100 percent what i would like to see but this is a funny part in the ai prompt generation when you are uh, creating something and maybe the result is not 100 percent matching what you want but uh, time to time we have to get used to it i still love this uh, image generation it's a really cool feature and as you can see we can do a lot of things on it of course, if you are using a bit more uh, accurate softwares like uh, Leonardo AI or Midjourney, that's maybe the results are more uh, close to what you want. And also you can have more details, options, then uh, you can get, get um, closer to uh, what you want. And also to, to show you something and this is my YouTube channel, what you already know, but lots of people don't know there is a community uh, button here. And here in this community button, I already inserted uh, lots of uh, AI generated pictures together with the prompt. So if you are uh, interested also about the AI image generation and need some uh, prompts for ID, feel free to uh, check this community tab on my channel and you will have uh, tons of different kind of uh, prompts as you can see, like including this one where uh, I just leave it this name empty. I mean, uh, I just ask for a banner with the name name. So here you can change the name and uh, you will have, you can change it and you have a different name on it. As you can see, 
most of the uh, the prompts has more than one uh, images some funny ones some really realistic ones as you can see or like a normal pictures or like this one like uh this is a gustav klim style picture i well, actually pictures so it's uh, I, I add lots of uh, different uh, kind of uh, prompts and you can see of course this like, like this one also really long one so it, like, like this one also like a cinematic realistic underwater underwater photography so you can see that's a really really nice results and also some uh, just uh, pictures and this one one of my favorite this is a double exposure uh, uh, abstract picture as you can see that's one really really beautiful generation image generation from uh, ai most of the pictures as you can see we made with a co-pilot also this one i really love with mini with uh with the chips in barcelona t-shirt and as you can see lots of different kind of uh, uh, picture what i used with uh with the prompts if you need any you can you feel free to copy it and use it for your own purpose so basically i just this one would let me show you that's uh if you are interested about prompts you can already learn in my community tab and you have lots of ideas what you can uh what you can try this is also an amazing one and as you can see this one also uh pretty detailed and you have a really nice uh, results from the co-pilot so now this is going to end to this uh, tutorial thanks for watching hope so you like it if you like it please do not forget to hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment if you have any question regarding canva or ai and feel free to check my community tab with these uh, prompts Thanks. See you in my next tutorial. Ciao.